and welcome the phoenix has landed welcome to my first and only youtube save on football manager 2021 rise of the Fenice. for this youtube save we will be using the cospire database which i released recently if you want to know more about that please check out the video what is the cospire database that could be a helping hand also check out the background story to this cospire database in the links right now and you could also go in the description press the link to the official Cospire database website there you'll find all the information and the download links to get this yourself now i know i am a little bit late to the party this is late in the fm21 term but i've been racking up the hours in the editor this year as always i think i'm getting close to 4000 hours in the editor Wait, God. and this guy my big idol doc brown he will get by in this series, come drop in from, from now and then, and hopefully help us along. Now, my main goal for this save is to win the Champions League with a club from Cospire. We have taken charge over the club in a Serie B called Accadencia di Fenice. And that is where the theme with the Phoenix and all comes in. You can take a look at the kits on the screen right now. There's a Phoenix on the kits as well. Beautiful kits. Obviously, deserves a huge shout out. The kit maker himself, FM Custom Kits. My man created this whole entire kit pack. We're going to see a lot of these kits in the save as we're going to play against a lot of teams. As I said, my main goal is to go and win the Champions League. But first of all, my first goal, my first objective is to get qualified for the for any European competition within three years. We are starting in the Serie B, so I'm giving myself three years to get qualified for any European competition, and from there we have set our sights on the Champions League. Well, I am expecting some bumps on the way. The Serie A is a very tough division, the Serie B is not bad at all. It is not a given that we gain promotion in the very first season, so how we will Achieve success on this save is all up to me. I can bust, I can get the success. We will see which road will leave us, lead us to success. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. What he said, because where we are going, there are no roads. This has never been done before. The Republic of Cospire is a brand new nation on Football Manager 2021. So every time I hit that continue button, we will write history and hopefully it will be a beautiful history for Fenice, the Agadencia, for Cospire and hopefully this series will be as dramatic as the intro. Here is a map over the Republic of Cospire. We are playing in this region which is called Fredo del Sud, also known as the Cold South. The main city is called Acatencia and that is where we are based. Fredo del Sud. There is only one city in this region and that is Acatencia. It's a pretty huge city with 1.4 million population. We have the big club AS Academia, we have Academia Unita, we have us Fenice di Academia and we have Imperatore Club Academia. Four clubs who will battle it out. Three of the clubs are in the Serie B, so we are, have some beautiful derbies ahead of us. I'm looking forward for that already. Here is some basic information about the club we have taken charge over. Fenice di Accadencia, based as I said in the city of Accadencia, our stadium name is Cupola di Fenice, which has a capacity of 38,000, a decent stadium in this country, hopefully we can build that stadium for the future. We are starting in the Cospire Serie B, and these three kits, get used to them, because these three kits are what, we, what we're going to see in this series. And what I'm going to do now is, we're going to jump over to the very first match of the season, the opening game of the Cospian Serie B. Well, I've been playing through preseason friendlies. We have challenged ourselves against one Cospire Serie C team and three Serie A teams. And that's been an uphill battle. Finally, we did win a huge win against the Serie A team. But we're not ready for that competition yet. But we're ready to kick off the season in Serie B. Our first opponent will be Larinuccia, and we're playing at their home ground, Grande Larinuccia Arena. 
If we pull up the map over the Republic of Kospaya one more time to find out where our next opponents are playing, we are going to travel all the way through country over to Larinutja, who's on the other coast of on the other side of the country. They have some beautiful, beautiful seasides, very nice uh, place, and at this time of, of year, it's very, very hot over at Larinutja. If we take a look at the season preview of the Cospire Serie B, we are predicted to end up in 7th position. And that will be right outside the promotion playoff battle, so we hope to do better than that and get that promotion in the first season. And our next opponent, our first opponent, Larinuja Association and Calcio, is predicted to end 5th, so we are pretty close to those two teams. And this is the team who we are facing in the opening match of the Serie B season, Radinuja AC, with a capacity stadium of 41,000, three beautiful kits, I like that third kit very very much, that is so cool, but hopefully we are strong enough to get a strong start to the season against Radinuja. This is the starting lineup for the opening game of the season. We are going to play attacking and that is our mindset for the whole season. Sometimes we will move him down and play him around, right around here. But this will be our most familiar formation. I will present all the players to you so we will get familiar with them over the seasons. And as I'm always playing football manager, I tend to use youth players as much as possible, which I've done for the left back, meet Claudio Rossi, only 18 years old. He'll be my starter if he can take the job. We have a strong left fullback on the bench as well in Betazzi, but he won't start. We'll go for the youth. Uh, we do have an 18 year old defender here, that is Davide Perrin, also 18 years old, that is a potential wonder kid in the making. We will get to know these players a lot more during the season, well now, let's kick it off. And here we are in the dressing room, getting ready for the opening match, I'll try to pump in some moral, and here we go, the opening match of the Cospire Serie B season, Larinuccia AC against Fenice. This is where we will start our journey. This is where we will try to rise the Phoenix as much as possible. I'll just tweak a couple of things. As I've told you earlier in the video, I haven't, I have barely played Football Manager 21 this year. So I've been looking so much forward to, for this day. And now this series is on the way. We start out with ball position for Larinuccia countering us, Quaranta. We are getting the ball, Chiappa in for Rogani, the young 18 year old Pereng out for the left winger with a bad pass from him. And now Larinuccia is in ball position, trying to counter us. We are only 8 minutes into the match. Alakia with a great tackle. Chiappa is on the ball. That is our right winger for the right fullback, Alakia. Can he get a cross in there? He finds Amione. Anone, his name is. And Santino Anone. Could be, could be our top scorer in the end, at the end of the season. And Alakia, I can tell you that he has 17 in crossing. I will show you some of the players on the way. And this is his first assist of the season. Anone just hit that with power and 1-0 away against Ladinuccia. Here's a throw in from Ladinuccia, 40 on the ball. Costa is... Trying to close them down, and it's 1-1. Pessina, Paolo Pessina for Ladinuccia. It's 1-1. 14 minutes into the game, 1-1. We like to see the action, and we are playing pretty offensively. We are really attacking-minded, so we have to live with conceding some goals. Here, Ladinuccia is one again, once again. Paolo Di Luca, and it's 2-1 for Ladinuccia. That get got turned around pretty quickly. Throw in from Larinuccia, Trotta on the ball, find some room for the goal scorer Di Luca, Caranta, Larinuccia is moving the ball around, controlling the match at the moment, controlling this game, but that amounted to nothing. So now can we create anything? Alakia, up to Chiappa. Most of our attacking play has so far been on the right flank and it continues. Chiappa goes into the central of the pitch, finds Ugani with a beautiful pass. Beautiful pass, we get a corner kick 
Safari would get, will get it. Cross it into the box. And they remove the danger. Rugani picks it up. Costa on the ball. Lakia once again. We are in ball position with 10 minutes left in first half. We are down 2 to 1 against Ladinuccia coming up to half time. That is not good enough. I don't think we will make any substitutions yet. And let's kick off that second half. Now we need to go and find some goals. And now we get ball position. Who will step up? We need some goals in this half. Chiapa and it's still on the right flank. Alakia with 17 in crossing gets it into the box. And Anone once again. But this time too easy for Albertini. Oh nice play by Ladinuccia. And it's a big huge chance to De Luca the goal scorer. This, this time he couldn't get it on target. Now it's a goal kick for Ladinuccia. Kicking it forward. Pesina, one of the goal scorers, with a beautiful touch, but Rossi, the young left back, gets it forward, Safari runs with the ball, finds Anone, come on Anone, Oy, it should have been 2-2, it should have been 2-2, now it's a corner kick for Ladinuccia, Trotta will get it in there, it's a huge chance, it's not enough sight, it's not enough sight for Guerreri, it's a goal, it's 3-1 for Ladinuccia, Ladinuccia once again move, moving the ball around, can we get the ball position? Here is Portolano. Get that goal, Portolano. No, nope. no goal. Throw in from Pesina. No, it's not Pesina. Pesina was, was injured. Portolano picks it up. Let's get that goal. Anona again, the, our goal scorer, with the ball all the way back. That was a weird one. Where were you, Betazzi? Move forward, please. Biagini finds Alakia. Alakia crossing it again. Big chance. We have created a lot of chances, we have a better expected goal than Ladinuccia, but they've been really, really efficient. Here goes another shot for the counter, been stopped. Biagini, one of the substitutes on midfield, finds Chiappa. Chiappa tries to get it in there and it's Portolano. So, so now both of our strikers have scored goals in this opening match. Biagini, which has just substituted into the midfield, finds Chiappa, he's been running that right wing all night long, gets it in there, and Portolano with the second. Do we actually have a chance for a draw? Five minutes of at a time. Let's go guys, it's now, if we will get that point. Itachi with the header, here goes Safari, run with the ball Safari, and please guys, get some help for him one man army on the left flank right there being stopped way too easy last couple of minutes Ladinuccia will happily play the ball around now they get a cross in and it's actually close to 4-2 but this time Spinazzola our goalkeeper gets the save last chance come on it is a chance and it's this so fucking loud don't do that to me Maybe one last chance. Safari with the corner. Nope. It's the last seconds now. Bitazzi just kick it into the box. Come on. Biagini got the assist for the second goal. Finds Safari. And Anone. And it's going to be a last minute chance. It's saved by the goalkeeper. And he was offside, Portolano. Okay. It was an entertaining opening match. Absolutely. But we didn't get the win, we didn't get any points. Lots of stuff to work on. Conceded three goals. Scored two. We came in late to try to get the point, but it was too late. And now, the opening of the Serie B. It has begun. Our journey will now go and contest for one of those five positions. And hopefully, we will be able to get that promotion later in the season. But a tough start to this project. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to ring that bell, subscribe, do everything. You know how it goes on on YouTube. But thank you for tuning in to the rise of the Fenice.